after a video of a street racer was posted online, dozens of other racers have begun uploading copycat videos. It appears that what was once an anonymous underground sport is now become a sport of viral reality show with racers embracing and even seeking out notoriety. Perception is reality. Law and order only exists as long as the public believes it. Today, they believe it less than yesterday. They see racers defying the laws without consequence. And when the laws no longer have teeth, when they become polite suggestions, society breaks down. The public accuses us of intimidation. But the truth is that show of force is preferable to use of force. And when show of force isn't enough to maintain order, sometimes you have to settle for the real thing. They need to be taught a lesson.
pursue and protect. Keep the public safe.
involved in a race along the Boot Heights. I'm in pursuit. 10-4, apprehend all suspects before 10-44 concludes. I've got a suspect racer in my vicinity.
The mayor visited Officer John McManus today as he recovered from his injuries at Redview County Hospital. While street racing in Redview County has caused thousands of dollars in property damage, this is the first time it has crossed the line. Newton's third law says that for each action, there must be an equal and opposite reaction. Force must always be met with force and excessive force must be responded to accordingly. The racers have shown that they are willing to cross the line in their quest to disrupt society. We must be willing to do the same to protect it, to teach our enemies that it is they who are in danger. McManus won't be the only casualty.
we will hunt them down.
halted. Race barely got started. Good work, officer. The streets will be made safe again. Chaos. 